RW Kern Center is the kind of the new entry point to the campus. Bringing people into this kind of new space on campus, this kind of entry point, will really highlight some of those ways of thinking about how we as a community think about sustainability. The building will be a net zero water and a net zero energy, meaning there are no power lines coming from the town. There is no water coming in from the town. It all has to come from the natural environment. When I saw this first sketch of the building, I said, oh my God, they got it. They just got it. Educationally, Hampshire is about dissimilar things being put together in interesting ways with transparency. And I had always thought in the planning process that we would have a building that would be good and the excitement would be inside. And that will be true, but also the building itself uh, is an expression. This will be one of the largest wood frame buildings built in the last hundred years in New England. It's built out of wood because that is, when it's sourced the way that this is, it's a sustainable material. It does grow back. There are six of these living buildings certified in the world. It's a, it's a much higher standard. What Hampshire's up to here, it's really changing the lens. The living building says we need to have environments and buildings and communities that are not only sustainable, but regenerative. I teach classes that are directly related to the kinds of things that are going on in the Kern Center. So two of my classes this semester I'm teaching sustainable water resources and then my other class is stream and wetland restoration. We always take students outside to be engaged with the natural world and to get them engaged with the built environment as well is really important. It's really a part of what we do. We're in buildings all the time and so to have a building that connects the natural environment and the built environment together both in the construction phase where students can see how it's being put together and then in the final phase where they'll be able to see how it's implemented, how it's measured, we can collect data from it, is going to be really, really fun. My work on the Kern Center really started actually my first week at Hampshire. I think what we're trying to do here is prove to higher education that the facilities arms race doesn't just have to be about building bigger. That if you build really precisely, really well, you can design a structure that's cost effective, amazingly sustainable, but also really welcomes people. Not just prospective students, not just prospective families, but brings the entire community together in a space where everyone can feel at home.